a special playthrough of Fake Grand Order, as you guys can plainly see. But hold on a second. We're gonna do something real quick. There we go. I did not like how that came out, so. Well, you guys wouldn't have been able to see the first half if I did it like that, so. And this also gives me a minute to actually go through all this shit and make sure it's working properly. Okay, so everything should be good. Here we go, the death jail prison race. And we have our first contested winner. So Helena Lavatsky. Yep. Or something like that. Okay. Second place, Mama Raiko and Swan Zong. Third place, of course. Of course, that they would be third place this time. Oh, whoops. And those two are still last. Okay. Good. Whew. And we got Mystic Spinal Fluids, Black, Beast, Grace, and Dragon Fang. And I... Yep, this is stuff I can definitely use. Let's see. Uh, do I? I guess I don't really have much use for most of this stuff. Hmm. Oh, I definitely need to make sure I get those tear stones of blood and eternal gears because I'm very low on those. Oh, I can get like 92 of these. Wow. 
Why the hell not, right? If I get 92 of those, then I can just jump up some characters. <laughs> you got 160 presents in storage. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I just opened them just because they were available. Shit. So I think we're going to be doing two events this time because I don't think the second half. I think after the second half of Agartha, I'm going to have to wait for the next half. So. We're gonna be doing two events. This one, well, we're gonna, not Gartha. We're gonna be doing this, the Def Jail Escape, and then a Gartha tonight. So here, let's see. Uh, you're on YouTube too, um, Yoshiharu, Yoshiki Haru. Um, let me see. Who should I use for this? Uh, I have Helena Blavatsky myself, so I'm going to, oh, actually, wait, since it's, um, Lancer and Berserker, I should do Saber, right? Yep, there we go. Saber. Oh, and I did change most of these, didn't I? So let's see, should I pick? Um, hmm. All right, I need to make sure I use all the summer events, don't I? mean, the summer servants, don't I? So, definitely use her. Uh, who else? Definitely Mosh is already there, so I should be good with Mosh. Um Oh, and right, Helena Blavatsky. Helena Blavatsky all the way at, the way at the end though because she's a freaking archer. And archers are weak against Lancers. You just joined Discord. Oh, then add me, cause I have a Discord, and I have literally nobody in there. <laughs> Wait, arts card affecting is okay. We'll add this on her. Yeah, I have a Discord, so, and it'll be good if everybody actually starts joining my Discord, because then I well, I'm gonna have to start um. I'm gonna have to start like promoting it and then people can be notified when I'm uploading. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Let's see. Steel plate mag. Let's see. I was about to say, I know I have more. Here it is. This is what I need. And there we go. There we have it. Meps Prison of Sin and Despair 2019. Escape one results. <laughs> huh? This looks like some special kind of basement. Not only that. Well, this is disappointing seeing the rest of you here. Huh? 
I guess all of our escape tunnels just happen to convert to converge in this room. Eh, it's fine. We'll just treat it like another of the racist checkpoints. What's more, each of you got here at slightly different times. I'll make sure to to take that into account when tallying up the results, so you have nothing to worry about there. All I want you guys to focus on is taking care of the problem in this room and getting back to the race. Uh oh. That does look like a problem. Is that the scorpion lady compared to what we saw of her in the courtyard? She seems rather... I'll say it. She's huge. Beyond huge. She must have been chewed, chewing down on all sorts of goodies in here. Now I see. So that is the real body. So they're keeping her completely chained up in here. A damn shame. I found it strange that a servant of her caliber would not attempt to break out of here, but now I understand. With that enormous frame, she would have no hope of escaping the cell. On top of that, it seems she's bound with chains of divine steel. Even if the barrier were to disappear, she would still have no way of escaping. That is why she has no interest in our prison break. No doubt the only joy she would have in all of this is watching with smug satisfaction as we fail to escape. I don't know how that's smug satisfaction, but okay. At last, the, la the time has finally come. Don't do this. Oh, but I must. I can't tell you how long I've waited for this day. What's going on here? It looks to me like those two have some sort of secret history. Though I suppose that sort of thing is inevitable when it comes to wardens and prisoners. What a tremendously vi volatile situation. There is a great deal of hostility here. Still, her chest and navel are flagrant viol- wait, frequent- wait, flagrant violations of public decency perhaps the guard has finally begun to properly punish such transgression transgressions prepare yourself i have awaited this day for many years ever since i wore a safeguard hygiene and cleanliness to safeguard and now at last the reptile safe anti Bacterial spray I ordered has finally been delivered. It's perfect for snakes. Huh? Ugh, are you truly a heroic spirit? Are you even human? Not even the cruelest of the... Irenes? No. Eren... Erenes could come up with such a horrifying torture as this. I'm begging you, don't do this, please. I'm shaking over here. My precious scales are trembling in fright. I will admit, I am deeply ashamed of the way I have behaved until now. I knew about those reptilian parts of yours, yet I still look the other way. I told myself they weren't human parts, that they were strange and mysterious, that they wouldn't have the necessary medical equipment for them, that there were other more important things I needed to attend to first. Much as I may have tried to pretend otherwise, the fact remains. Failing to sanitize some body parts just because they happen not to be human goes against everything I stand for as a nurse. Okay. However, that all ends today. I may have had trouble getting enough medical supplies in Crimea, but in this wonderful modern era, one can order anything and have it delivered right to her door. With Amazon? Now I have everything I need. Oh wait, if we can do transdimensional shit, then I need to get to that part of my job. I need... In addition to this spray, I also made sure to read the Snake Care for Dummies book I had delivered with it from cover to cover. Okay. As long as one is knowledgeable and prepared with appropriate medical supplies, one has nothing whatsoever to fear. 
Until now, I may not have been able to do anything about your snake parts, but today, I will finally sanitize them thoroughly. When I'm done, you will be the cleanest, safest, and most hygienic snake in the world. Free to proudly show your face with, wherever you please. Good. Incidentally, I also believe that the spaces in between scales are prone to collecting grime or getting caught on this and that. It may be worthwhile to shave them off for sanitation purposes as well. And yes, I did read in Snake Care for Dummies where it said that unlike fish, snake scales are bounded to their skin, so what? No, not so what. This cell was made specifically for you with generous amounts of divine steel provided by Fionn Mech Kemhale. There is nowhere for you to run. It does sound like I've been hearing voices behind my back for a while now, but as they have nothing to do with hygiene, I won't pay them any mind. Damn, looks like I've got no other choice. You there, help me stop her! <laughs> Light bulb. I don't know, we're just passing through here. It's not like this has anything to do with us, right? Indeed, Scorpion. To the best of my um, recollection, we have never been friends, nor have you ever been in a position to give me cleaning orders. Umu, umu. At best, we were targets for you to vent your frustration upon in the exercise yard. Uh, you mocked us, said we would fall. You're mean. Grr, you villains. I was clear for every. It was clear for anyone to see what you were trying to accomplish. Very well then, I'll make you a deal. Help rid me of this guard and I will help you escape in return. Now I see, we scratch your back and you'll scratch ours, eh? Should've just saved us all some time and led with that dumb Orochi. Orochi. We have other things to worry about, we can't afford to waste our time here. Our top priority is to make it outside. If you can help us do that, I am willing to assist you. Indeed, besides, it is summer, a season that comes but once a year. If I were to remain in this dim hole, my new custom fitted swimsuit would be all for naught. Did she say custom fitted? Yeah, she said custom fitted. Wow. Um. No, no, that's not it at all. I must get out in order to uphold my duty of maintaining decency in summer. No, you want to use your swimsuit. It's perfectly fine. Either way, we can't turn back now. We need to take out the, that guard and bury the evidence that we were here. If we can get a powerful prisoner in our depth on top of that, that's great too. You know, when she puts it like that, it makes this whole business sound incredibly shady. That's because it is incredibly shady. Everything with Ishtar is incredibly shady. Sorry, it's just a fact of life. One and only. Okay, let's see. What is with this Mission Impossible music? Oh my god. This is like the second time this happened. Let's see.
Okay, let's see what else. Actually, let's keep it up with this. The qu these quick spells. I mean, these quick um, cards. So I can actually generate some freaking stars here. Yay! And now I can take her out with one strike. I can take out everybody here, actually. You would think they would make all of these enemies, I don't know, a little more challenging. But as it stands, I'm just obliterating literally everybody in here. <laughs> she sounds so lazy. Oh, nice. A perfect 13 all around. Map show! Which she definitely stole from BB. I just figured that out too. You stole that from BB. Ruling and riding. Whoa, what? Ruling and riding with a smile has always been Queen Meb's motto, but lately something has been weighing on her mind. Huh. <sighs> What's the matter, boss? Why the long face? This is Meb's right-hand woman, a self-proclaimed goddess of from Mexico. As it would be unacceptable for anyone, wait, for anyone to have higher standing than the queen in this country, the self-proclaimed part is a necessary contrivance. Contrivance. I was just thinking about those things that have been paved all across my kingdom. Ah, you went on another patrol. I think it's great how you're so enthusiastic about your work, yes? Well, I don't. Hmm. How dare they cover Connaught in those eyesores? This is my land, dammit. At least they haven't made their way to this prison yet. But if they do start showing up here, then... Uh, hmm. I don't think we have to worry about that. Those aren't being used to control this place. They're just making a track to race on. Uh, a circuit, yes. Ugh, just thinking about them pisses me the hell off. Hmm, did you say something? Nope. No, Daiji, nada. Huh? By the way, how is the interrogation going on with the prisoners? Wait, hold on, this shit is going fast. It says, going 
with on those prisoners I've captured the other day. They seem like they know something, but since I've been letting you handle the whole thing, I have no idea what you might have learned. Bane, of course it's going great. I've been putting them through I mean them all through rigorous interrogations every day. Unfortunately, they are so tough that I haven't learned anything yet. Nope. No wonder those heroic spirits managed to conquer your nation. I'm sorry, Meb. I'm afraid I'm going to need more time to get something conclusive out of them. I know there's no possible way they could ever escape this prison, so technically we can't afford to take our time. But I just can't stand the thought of those things being plastered all over my kingdom. Hurry up and get them to tell you how to peel those things off as soon as you can. Understood. Uh, I mean, your wish is my command, boss. Grr, this whole thing has me annoyed. Actually, I'm horny. Hey, you're still training the prisoners, right? Wait a minute. Did she just say what I think she just said? Wow. Naturally, pounding the art of lucha into as many people as possible is the primary reason that I'm here, yes? Then bring me your most promising trainee right now. I'll take them on myself. Oh gosh, to be honest, I'd really rather not squander my most promising trainee's potential like that. If they go up against you, you'll either break them or they'll get so caught up in your nighttime lucha that it'll throw off their training balance. <laughs> oh my god, I'm putting that in the, I'm, we're putting that in the thumbnail. Nighttime lucha. Meb's nighttime lucha. Where's my video? Yeah, that is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Meb has nighttime lucha. Lucha, lucha, lucha. <laughs> hmm, then again, if that's all it would take to stop them, they might have not ever be able to become true warriors anyway. Wait, right here while I go and get them. <laughs> okay. That just shows what a wonderful queen we have, no matter how busy she may be or how mind, wait, mind numbingly difficult a problem she may be tackling, she still takes time to directly interact with her prisoners as much as possible. A little too direct, if you ask me. But, I can't lie, I'm a little jealous of that nighttime loot truth. Wait, oh. Actually, yeah, I could create a highlight right there. Damn, I wanted to create a highlight. What kindness, what mercy, what devotion to equality. She truly, she is truly a warden among wardens, a queen among queens. No one is better suited to rule this kingdom than her. Now let's enjoy watching the Queen's personal rehab program for ourselves. Child safe filter on. Uh, can we take the child safety filter off, please? I would like to see that nighttime Lucha in all of its glorious workings. Glorious! Phew! Great job, boss. Feeling better now? Of course not. This didn't help resolve the problem outside the prison walls at all. No, but it did take your sexiness down a little bit. Did make for a good workout though. And hey, look at the time. I'd better get back to my office for a shower. Taking a shower in her office at the same time every day is another invaluable part of the queen's routine. In the Queen's own words, there's no telling when the trap I laid outside might catch the guy I had my eye on, right? 
I've got to be ready to go at any time. What a brilliant example of risk management. Read the mind of a thirsty young woman. To all you viewers, if you see the Queen's Prey anywhere, make sure to call in and let us know right away. And don't bother trying to catch him for yourself. His invade, his evade performance makes him harder to catch than his three star rating would imply. Be on the lookout for blue hair, squinted eyes, and red spear, and possibly a dryad step. Dryad step. Keep in mind that he may appear younger than you might expect. Wait, who, wait a minute, who is it? Blue hair, squinted eyes, a red spear, and possibly a dryad staff. Um, who the hell is that? That's not who I thought it was. He is also known to occasionally become a berserker, so use extreme caution when, oh, oh, okay. Never mind, I know who it is. Queen Med, make sure to shower at the exact same time every day, given how. Whoa. The sun. The thing is beaming in my face. It says, given how hectic her schedule is, it is one of her precious few chances to take a well earned break. Now let's just sit back and enjoy the sounds of water hitting the queen's perfect body. Wait a minute. I can't hear anything. Turn it up. <laughs> Meb is a pervert. That much is true. Inner courtyard. Escape two. Cooperator in wait. Cooperator in chains. Cooperator. <laughs> Hmm, digging a tunnel through the ground, eh? Sounds like a real pain. Here, I thought you were a bunch of annoying flies, but it turns out you're actually a bunch of grubs. What? Wait, a bunch of grubs. I'm impressed that you made it th wait. God damn it. I'm impressed you made it this far without getting stepped on. You've got a lot of nerve for someone who would have gotten her ass handed to her without her help. She's probably just too embarrassed to show her appreciation. She looks like a servant whose spirit origin is made up of pure soon to me. Oh ho ho ho! Caught her out on it. I like it. I gotta say, throwing a fit of dure in the mix would do her some good. I'm sure. It would. <laughs> While I can appreciate your pride, I would try to keep that attitude of yours in check if I were you, Scorpion. She's not even a goddamn Scorpion. Remember, we now possess the source of your greatest vexation. The only thing more powerful than a maid is a maid with reptile oh, sensation spray. I mean, sanitation spray. Sanitization. Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Hold on. Hmm. Is that what you think? Take another look at the bottom of that contain can canister. Hmm? It looks like the bottom melted off and now it's empty. When did that happen? My acid can melt any living thing. 
ordinarily I only use it to just pray I've eat I have eaten but it's easy it's easy enough to use on small objects oh ho as it you say how very fortuitous we still have a lot of digging left to do after all we have been fortunate up to this point but there is one thing I have been concerned about what if they come up against a great boulder or other obstacles we can't clear away with our bare hands? I don't like where this is going. Are you telling me to, ca to cough up my acid just to help you lot dig your way out of the prison? Well, of course, it not that why you were just going on about how wonderful it was. It is. You know, Monkey used to do the same thing all the time. I'll build a castle in three days, boss. There's no way Shibata or anyone else could pull that off, boss. So now it's time to cough up or shut up. We made a deal. You said you'd help. Were you lying? I did say that, didn't I? Stop looking at me like that. Wait, what? Like that. I wouldn't do anything so boorish as to break my word to a human or even a mechanical doll. Indeed, my daughter is frightfully adorable when she looks up at you with those baby blue who, while she tilts her head like that. I totally get it. As I have told you countless times before, Fran is Victor's girl, not yours. Can you rephrase that please, cause she is not Victor's girl. She's Victor's creation. Well, the problem now is that there's only one of you and six teams of us. And we have our own reason for why we can't all escape together. Depending on how things could go, we could all end up fighting over who gets to use your acid. So, you're racing as well as escaping. Hmm, I'm starting to see what's going on here. Well, no matter. It's none of my concern. All you want is my acid, correct? You should be able to carry that around in any container coat coated with my magical energy. Huh. Let's give it a try. These cups should do the trick. Now then. Why did she just turn around like that? Uh, so she didn't show anything. Inhale, exhale, okay, here goes. Yes, this should work. Here, you can carry it in these. Quite generous of me to throw in containers for free, if I do say so myself. Said while wiping her mouth. Hold it! If that's what I think it is, it better not be. Hey, it's not. It is pure acid. At any rate, I can't move from this cell. As you can see, I'm bounded by divine steel chains. But you are free to take my acid with you in those containers. However, let me be clear about one thing. I cannot just make more on a whim. Why is that, you ask? This may be hard for you to understand, but producing it makes me extremely hungry. Now I get it. I totally get it. If anything, I'd be more surprised if that didn't happen. Is that true? Yes, it is. My mechanical doll. No matter how badly you may want this acid, I can only produce so much. So if you want it that badly, you'll need to bring me tribute every time you ask for more. Something that will fill my stomach would be best, of course. In fact, I wouldn't mind if you offered up your sales. <laughs> Provisions, eh? As prisoners ourselves, those aren't exactly easy to come by. Good thing I know a human or two who could help. I think we can make this work. Excuse me, bro, quick. me who can make this work now I see 
Looks like we know what's what the next resource we need is. Right you are, master. It seems the amount of help um, Acid Gorgon can provide will have a significant bearing on how quickly everyone can progress. Let's be sure to bring Gorgon things she'll like to speed along everyone's escape. Alright, you all know what you need to do next. The race to escape is back on track. Okay. Why the hell does this look like another game I freaking forgot about? Wow. Last game, the last one it looked like was Dig Dug. This one, however, looks like something entirely different. Okay, first of all though, I need something entire I need something else. Wait. Here we go. Oh my, hold on a second. I'm Okay, here we go. Yes, I send me each more poker. I guess I can use all the other stuff. Let's see. I'm not gonna use those just yet because I just got them. Let's tr let's use these m ones right here. Miscellaneous ones. I guess I'll use these as substitute. They're not really gonna do anything, but hey, whatever. And you would think I would get a super up for that. You know, I, uh, hold on, I gotta go. I, I'll try to do another live stream today. <laughs>